Sonia, and today we're dishing with you from Capital City Brewing Company, located at 1100 New York Avenue Northwest. This is DC's oldest brew pub. It's been here for 21 years. It's finally legal. And in addition to our wonderful brews, we're also enjoying some ribs, some bratwurst, some fish and chips, and maybe DC's best kept secret, Capital City Brewing Company's free soft pretzel. And today we're dishing with Christy Greiner. She's the director of brewing operations right here at Capital City Brewing Company. Now, I'm, I know your, your actual title is the director of brewing operations, but a lot of people might call you a brew master. Is that correct? Um, yes. Uh, the feminine is Brewster. Yeah. Brewster, really? <laughs> yes, it's one of those old English Are you trade punky? names like yeah, right. Miller or Farmer or Cooper. Seriously, Brewster. It's one of those old okay. English trade names, and it's derived from that. But, so so no are problem. there a lot of female Brewsters here uh, in D.C.? There is one other. Um, oh, really? Only there one? There is Megan Parisi. She is the brewmaster for Blue Jacket that's soon to open up by the Navy Yard. Okay. Uh, but there are, there are less than, last count I heard, there are probably less than 70 female brewmasters in the country. So what do you think it is about being a woman that makes you even better at this job? It's our heritage. We're the ones who probably invented it. You know, making beer was woman's work for a very long time because it was management of of the food supply, of your harvest, and of your crops, and of your grains, and it was a form of cooking. So it was woman's work for millennia. Uh, lots of cultures credit women with being the ones who invented beer in the first place. Cool. Ninkasi is the Sumerian goddess of brew, and she made beer for all the other gods. And it's the nice. oldest recipe that we have for beer is in a hymn to Ninkasi that's something like 5000 BC. So more women should be drinking beer being for just this yes. reason also, making yes. and drinking it. And, you know, everybody talks about wine being so fancy and mm -hmm. there are all these different concoctions, but beer is making this resurgence of being the classy thing to drink. It's not just the bar food anymore. You know, it's also, it's a nice option because wine is very yummy and very complex, but it's usually twice as strong as beer and let's not even compare to liquor. So if you're wanting to enjoy an evening at the pub, beer is a, often a better choice because... You'll remember it. Exactly. You can hang out and have three or four drinks and not be as if you drank a whole bottle of wine. You know, it's, it's very complex. There's a great amount of styles of beer out there available. You hear a lot of women say, oh, I don't like beer. Well, you just probably have not found the beer that you like. A lot of women tend to associate beer with the stuff they might have drank in high school or college yeah, right, right. back when it was more of an act of desperation something as opposed out of a plastic to something cup that you wanted to enjoy. And the beer is very complex and very diverse now, and there are a lot of options out there. I think a lot of women should revisit it. Well, let's you, talk about some of those yeah. options. There's a couple of them here on the table, but you have how many different types of beer here at Capital City? Uh, we have four flagship beers. We have our Capital Kolsch. We have our Pale Rider, which is American Pale. We have Amber Waves, which is American Amber, which you have here, the pretty red hue. Mm. And then we also have our Prohibition Porter. And women who say, oh, I don't like beer. Well, do you like chocolate? Do you like yeah. coffee? Then you would probably like a porter, especially maybe some of the more rich ones uh, of the darker beers, like a nice milk stout, which is still going to have a nice residual sweetness to it. It would go awesome with cheesecake or a brownie or anything with raspberries in it. You can pair those darker beers the same way that you would pair red wines with with nice. food. So any kind of dark beer is phenomenal with chocolate. So, you know, I'm one of the, I'm a total lightweight and I don't know anything about the things to buy at bars, but I always go like with the woodchuck or like some mm -hmm. sort of apple cider kind of mm -hmm. thing. But you're saying go with the darker toned beers. Often, often the women uh, who aren't so much into beer, they find that, that nice entry level beer or that nice transitional beer in the darker ones. Okay. Also, women who tend to like ciders or white wines might often like saisons or um, Belgian wits or hefeweizens. I should have brought a pad of paper. I really okay. yeah, go back and watch this. Yeah. And well, so I look you like, I can just yeah, so I can actually walk in to Cap Reruns. City and be like, Reruns. I'll have that, the yes. saison. So yeah. you, we're, we're at the flagship location of Capital City Brewing Company, right? Mm -hmm. And this has been here for 21 years. Yes. The yeah. oldest brewery in the District of Columbia, am I right? The first brew pub in, in the city since Prohibition. The first brew pub in the city since Prohibition. And you make it here. Yes. And you make it. So, so what, what, is do you put yeah, 
what does that mean? Like, are you like mean? stirring pots of things? Oh, in the smaller systems, yes. My first brewery was me with a very large shovel, and I had the most amazing dry steps. <laughs> Great. And it, uh, I'm on a bigger system now, so it is uh, it's more a little more automated, but there's still a great deal of um, of pots and steaming and shoveling. And, and does that kettles. happen here? We you used to do the brewing here, but we have consolidated our brewing operations into the Sherlington location. Oh, okay. And so we do all the brewing there, and we bring the beer downtown here. Big stuff going on in that Sherlington location yes. coming up, so. Probably 2,500 barrels this year to supply wow. two locations. So if you want to think about it in other terms, that's going to be 5,000 kegs. And that's all going to be for this upcoming 14th annual Oktoberfest, right? Oh, we're going to oh my God, I had so totally beer. forgotten about Oktoberfest. Yeah, that's coming up. Okay. That is coming up. That's going to be October the 5th. So it is going to be the 14th annual. We always have a very good time. There's lots of breweries. We are making a, a little effort this year to to draw in more of the local beer community. Um, they've made some laws change to where it's a little more easy for um, area breweries to to um, contribute to these things. You know, breweries that might not have a distributor, some of the laws now, it's a little easier for them to get on this sort of game. So we're trying to get people in from Maryland and D.C. and Virginia, and then once we've got as many of our neighbors involved as possible, then we're bringing in the outside beers as well. But we have to have our nice international beers and our, some of our German beers. So what do I have? You have our Kolsch, which is a German-style ale. If uh, if you like a Pilsner or something rather light and crisp, this is very good. It goes very well with fish and chips. Oh, okay. It goes um, very well with your lighter, lighter fare. Okay. Um, it's very simple little beer. It's pills and malts, some wheat malts, um, a little Vienna, and a little bit of acidulated malt. It's all done with noble German hops. So it's an ale, but we ferment it like a lager. So we ferment it at a cooler temperature, okay. and that makes it ferment a little more slowly, which gives a little more of a clean flavor profile. Do you ever do classes where people can come and do this with you, learn how to make beer? Help with the stirring. Just watch you so that they know well, what's going in the beer that they're drinking right here. We, we do brew tours in the last Saturday of the month. As it stands right now, we do not have any classes set up, but I only took over there seven months ago, so we're, that's not necessarily, that might happen a little further down the road. We've learned so much. We've only been sitting here with you for a few minutes, and I know that everybody wants to learn more. So there's a lot going on, and there's a lot on the menu here, but there are so many different beers to try, and if you don't try them right here, you should try them at the 14th Annual Oktoberfest. That's right, absolutely. On October 5th. Christy, thanks so much for being My with pleasure. us. My pleasure. Thank you for We've having We've learned a ton, and we want to say cheers. That's right. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Thanks for being a fan. Thanks for following. And we hope that we'll see you right here next time, right here on the District Dish. Oh, nice.